Hello everyone, Alex here. Today we're going to continue with how to create equipment schedules in Revit. In part one, I show you how to create shared parameters and how to add those shared parameters to your equipment and your schedule. In part two, I'll show you how to fill out your parameters. Also, I'm going to show you how to create schedule footnotes. So that it looks something like this. And for that, we're going to be using key schedules. And finally, we're going to format the final schedule so that it looks nice and pretty like what you see on the screen. See you in Revit. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. Okay, so let's first create some shared parameters. Go to Manage, Share Parameters, we we'll go to our plumbing group. Now let's create, let's say the first one. We're gonna do a quick test first, and then we create the rest. So let's say just footnote one number that's going to be a common parameter it's going to be a text parameter and then we're going to create another parameter called the same thing but instead of number is ags footnotes one text so that's still common and it's still text okay let's create the other two parameters for let's say note number two so that will be number and text and then we do the same thing with the text. So let's see, under AJS footnotes, we have one number and one text, and two number and two text. So let's give it a shot. Come here to schedules and quantities, new schedules and quantities. We're going to use planting, which we're sure we're never going to use. Schedule keys. So let's give a name to the schedule. And I'm going to call it a medical air compressor footnotes. Later, I'll, I'll rename it to whatever the, the, the actual schedule is named like. Okay. And as far as key name, I'm just going to call it air compressor footnotes. And I hit OK. And now I'm going to remove actually key name. And I'm going to add the parameters from my share parameter schedule. Let's see how this goes. To go plumbing. Footnotes one number. We want to group this under plumbing. Yeah, that's fine. Just let's just keep it under plumbing. And now footnotes text. Footnotes one text. We want to keep it under plumbing. And I hit OK. And now let's create that. Looks good. Let's insert a data row. And this could be one. This will be compressor footnote one. And then we would insert another row. This would be two compressor footnote two. All right, so that's good. Let's say we're done with this schedule. And this is our location. So we would like to rename this the same as our medical gas source equipment schedule. So I'm just going to rename this like that, but then footnotes, right? And I want to make this a sheet schedule. And now I have them both side by side, right? So this will be the actual schedule and this will be the footnotes. That's very good. And then now I will want to create another sheet schedule. And this is a trick. Let's see if it's working. So new. And now we go with planting. And now what do we want to do? Let's make this, let's say the domestic booster footnotes, right? And the schedule key is domestic booster footnotes. Hit OK. Now we will remove this guy and now we would add our share parameter. But now we're dealing with footnotes to number. And then we group that under plumbing. And now we add the same footnotes to, but the text. Now we hit OK. We group it under plumbing. OK. And now OK. And there you go. Same thing. So we insert a data row. This would be our node 1. And then this would be our domestic booster footnote 1. 
and then we would insert another data row and this would be two and then domestic booster footnote two and then we can come here and rename this as domestic booster pump, pump schedule footnotes and enter and now we change the view usage to sheet and now we have our domestic booster pump schedule footnotes and the actual schedule so let's let's go back to our sheet just to see how things are looking right so we could go to our medical gas source equipment schedule and then just dump our footnotes obviously we would have to do the same formatting stuff that we did at the beginning of the video you know what let's just do it so let's just go in here we'll go to formatting we want to go to appearance we want to keep the grid lines we want to show the title but we don't want to show the headers okay, click OK and then this cell you want to align it to the left replacing this here obviously we want to change the font and all that so it looks good you know you want to have this at 330 seconds of an inch and at 0 0.75 width factor and all that but this is the idea and we know that it works and then we can go to the domestic booster there you go so we go to the domestic booster and then we grab this guy with the footnotes and just drop it in there you know and we do the same formatting so that it looks good and they're both together so we don't miss it okay so that's the way we're gonna do it and now it's looking pretty good and let's see what else we want to put a bunch of periods here two period three period four period five period six period and then we don't want this stuff showing so let's go under appearance and then we might not want to show the headers and I'm gonna show the title and then the title is gonna be just footnotes or notes for now let's just press OK and see what we got let's go to our sheet so instead of just bringing the schedule and then leaving behind a multi-text that seems disconnected with the schedule I guess the point I'm trying to make is if you're trying to create a new project and you want to bring in views from an existing project or from a template you want to be able to select those schedules to bring them in and if you don't see the text underneath you're not going to bring it in and then you're missing those valuable information notes down there so to avoid that you'll see both the medical gas source equipment schedule and the medical gas source equipment schedule footnotes so now whenever you create a new project and you find these two guys on the list you just check check and then you bring them both obviously we want to format this so it looks good then we can click here we can go back I don't think we want to see those lines here the, the grid so Let's go ahead and change that too. Let's come here to appearance. Then we take out grid lines. Now it's looking a lot better. We want to bring this a little bit closer, of course. That's looking pretty good to me. And then, although I don't want to show the grid lines, I think I want to show a border outside. So there you go, outline. Let's hit OK. Let's check it out. It's pretty decent. It's looking very good. Now let's uh, stretch it a little bit more. I'll probably bring it up. We can probably bring it up a little bit more and then we probably want this all the way to the left just click here on this cell we want to align to the left look at that beautiful actually you know what would be even better if we could take this guy and make it underline let's see oh my god this is beautiful right and just so it looks pretty I'm gonna make this a similar spacing as this so that's my schedule